This example has what's called a contingency table, or a two-way table. So we have 130 FCC students broken down by gender and by dominant hand. So there are male and female, and then right-handed and left-handed. And since we're breaking them down by two categories, there are four total possibilities. Female right-handed, female left-handed, and then male right-handed and male left-handed. We're also, helpfully, given these totals for each row and each column. If we weren't given those, we could easily find them. For instance, the total right-handed is simply the male right-handed plus the female right-handed. Adding those together, we get 105, and so on. You can add up each row and column. And then once you have these row and column totals, if you add together the two column totals, you get 130. And if you add together the two row totals, you also get 130. And that's a nice check to make sure that everything works out and that you haven't added something incorrectly. Now though, we're asked if we randomly select one person from this group, what is the probability that this student is left-handed? So all we have to think about is the number of ways that we could select a left-handed student divided by the total number of ways that we could select any student. Well, the number of ways to select a left-handed student is just the number of left-handed students there are. So if we go to the left-handed column, we notice the total there is 25, which again we could have gotten by adding the 13 and the 12. So there are 25 left-handed students, so 25 ways to select a left-handed student, and there are 130 total students all in all. So the probability of selecting a left-handed student is 25 divided by 130. And if we write that as a decimal, it comes out to about 0.192.